Hello, this is Cecile. And this is Toby. And we're the Evans family. Welcome to our channel. Boop, 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 boop. On a computer. <laughs> we wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're doing right now, and that's planning a trip to Ghana. Oh my gosh. What? This is the first time I've done this. <laughs> we live right now in Portland, Oregon, which is where we both lived for a really long time. Myself, more than 30 years. And you mm, too. Quite a bit more than that <laughs> for me. Just a couple of years. Just a couple of you. So, yeah, this is a really big deal, traveling internationally to Africa, to Ghana, uh, Elmina to be exact. It's a coastal town about three and a half hours from Accra, which is the capital city of yeah, Ghana. Big city. <laughs> One of the biggest cities in Africa. <clears throat> and, yeah, we're just really, really excited. We have... A little less than four months before we're <laughs> we have a little less than four months before we're getting on that airplane we're bringing our cat two suitcases a piece that's it that's it so we want to document us showing um, how to do this we'll be selling all of our stuff we'll be getting all of our vaccinations and mm -hmm. getting our cat ready for international travel, figuring out a budget, and finding a place to live before we land. You know, we got like four <laughs> months though. I mean, it's all the time in the world. Forget about it. Forget about it. We've <laughs> got this. We do have some amazing, um, I guess you could say bonuses or we're lucky. My mom is already over there. I actually took her there in May, and that's how we first came to fall in love with Ghana, and specifically Elmina. Um, I've never seen anything like it. It was the most beautiful thing I could imagine, and both of us have always wanted to have our own piece of property and a home on it, yeah. and it just hasn't, it hasn't seemed feasible to do in... The Pacific Northwest, which is where we want to live if we were to stay in the United States. Yeah. It's too expensive, and the places that aren't expensive, <laughs> they're not safe for somebody that looks like me, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've just been trying to figure out the where and the how, and when my mom made the decision to move to Ghana, it it just clicked, you know, it was like all the pieces started stacking together and here we go well after she went um she had to go back and if she went back i don't think she wanted to go come back again i think so yeah you're talking about my mom no you oh after <laughs> yeah no i wouldn't there's you can't really stay in the u.s as a <clears throat> In my opinion, as a black person, after going to the motherland, the, it, it, to be seen or to not be seen, like what? What, like which one? But it, both. I'm regular, right? <clears throat> and even still, I was still American, but it was different. And to have like some American privilege for once, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and no by no means are we rich obviously which is why we can't really afford to buy land in the u.s at least not the amount that we want or in the location that we want right you know yeah, if there's trees on the land in oregon it's very very expensive the only sort of attainable land for what lower middle class people mm -hmm. is scrubland tumbleweeds uh good old boys um, hmm. No rain. Yeah. If it rains everywhere in Oregon. No, it does not. <laughs> it doesn't. There's <laughs> desert. Yeah, we don't really mm -hmm. want to live. I don't know. We'd like to be able to grow crops and have some trees. Absolutely. And Ghana is lush. Mm. It's so lush. Very juicy. Everything that we've learned about Africa, you know, is it's tainted and it's from 
of the lens of a colonizer, you know? And so going there and seeing it for myself, I know that that land is fertile. So, so does the colonizer. That's the point, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, it's um, their biggest export or their biggest industry, excuse me, is agriculture. And that's what we're both really interested in as yeah. well. So I feel like we'll fit right in. We found our people. <laughs> Got my bib overalls ready. Got a straw hat. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get those Ghana boots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got a boots, got a boots. Got a, got a boots, got a boots, got a boots. Got a, got a boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, clearly, we're, like, the most excited. Pretty excited. Yes. Yeah. And not scared for some reason. And I'm a, no. I'm a kind of a nervous Nelly about, <laughs> oh, planning. Oh, what about all these things that could go wrong? And, like, I'm, I'm, I <sighs> the tiger. Doing our research, yeah. watching some uh, some awesome YouTubers that have gone before us to get yes. some great hints. Thank you, yeah. Expat Life Ghana. You have really just laid out the information that we needed to be able to come from the U.S. So to Ghana. And we just really appreciate you. So thank you. Someday we'll put a link in the description. Um, I'm kind of new to this. Is it up here? Is it down Someday here? Someday it may be down here. <laughs> like after, like below the video screen, and like a little like white background, like some texty area. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll get back to you. And so let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> let's talk about you and me. All the good things and the bad things. I think we might get demonetized with sex talk. Who's in the next year? Oh, I don't know. We're married. <laughs> yes. 12 years. Mm -hmm. Going on 13. Mm -hmm. We'll celebrate our 13th wedding anniversary in Ghana. That's right. So that's going to be amazing. It will be. Sounds lucky to me. So yeah, and we want to share this for, I guess, a number of reasons, you know, we want to try and figure out how to get that YouTube money. We want to be able to show, <laughs> yeah, that's one. We want to be able to show um, folks just how amazing Ghana is and also show people how easy it is to grab onto your dreams and just make it happen. It does take time, you know, and for us, it's been 13 years trying to get to this point in our lives yeah. but once we made the decision to go it was time to go and there's nothing that's stopping us from leaving the u.s it's not as hard Onward. as <laughs> it's <laughs> that <laughs> how about we talk about what were the next things we think we need to do to get ready mm. well gosh um we need to buy our plane tickets kind of as far out as possible so we can get sort of the best price that's yeah. possible. We've done a little bit of research so we kind of understand arriving in early November like mm -hmm. we'd like to is a time that's sort of outside of big rushy holidays so we yes. have the possibility for getting a, a lower um, plane ticket yes um, well, and amazingly enough that's when our lease ends so it's like <laughs> blessed yep 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 um we've been looking at ticket prices and it ranges from 1200 to the most i've seen was 16 geez. and that's coming from portland round, round trip from round portland. trip round trip you have to buy a round trip right because we're not residents yet we're still we're working on that right mm -hmm. but we're we're working on that let me tell you so i think we've heard some decent tips on how and when to buy tickets so november is one of the slow seasons and then 
uh, another YouTuber, Gabby Mac, mentioned Ooh. getting a VPN so that you could almost reset your location so like Google wouldn't know that you were looking for a ticket at this date because they will mm -hmm. kind of stick you with a higher price because they know you're trying to travel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then what was the other thing? Oh, we just heard from a friend of my mom's about flying from Portland into Vegas and then flying out from Vegas because Vegas is one of the cheapest places to fly into or out of. So it's another, yeah, because usually we would be flying into like a Salt Lake City, Utah from our location as our second stop before we hit New York to then go dead leg 11 hours to <laughs> Accra. <laughs> but maybe we can switch that and do um, PDX to Vegas to New York to Accra. I don't think I'd want to add the extra leg just to save... You're not adding any leg, you're just switching from PDX or from Vegas to Utah or from Utah to Vegas, excuse me. You have a stop either way. Yeah, you did see a, a, a two jump uh, flight at one point where we go Oregon to somewhere on the East Coast and uh, just one more leg to across. That is true. I saw one That's that what went. I'm hoping, for. <laughs> I, I'm hoping for that one too. At the same time, we're traveling <laughs> with our cat, and I think that. Um, the, as many breaks as possible to be able to get off and let yeah. her stretch and use the bathroom that's or whatever sweet. she needs to do because that's the little baby it and little we want to make sure that she has a good flight you know and we're going to give her like CBD and make sure that she's comfortable you know we live Pretty in Oregon so that. we've got access to <laughs> yes we'll have the this CBD too <laughs> absolutely the CBD couldn't recommend it anymore Relax. yes whole family will have the cbd <laughs> so yeah we've got to get our tickets so then after that i think it's time to start figuring out how to sell our stuff because right, right now we're in a two-bedroom house and we it's full you know <laughs> oh crap and we only get two suitcases <laughs> so and we lose a carry-on because of the cat. A <sighs> big old backpack that I'd normally have all my, like, goody goods. All right, it's going to be a, a cat carry-on. <laughs> the one little bundle of the bestest goody goods. Oh, but, the sweetest. Oh. So mm. yeah, we might, if we're able to coordinate uh, well with a friend, yes. uh, which we're not sure if we can name yet, because they don't have their ticket either. <laughs> uh, we can get somebody to come over there with two suitcases yes. that they are only using like half of one. No, no, no. They won't use any. They get the carry-on. Okay, right, 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 right. <laughs> right. If they need clothes, they can have them made there. <laughs> exactly, which I'm we could saying. Yeah. Whew. Gonna close. Oh, my gosh. She came gosh. back with some dresses. Ooh. So cute. And I can't wait to go and have you pick out a print that you want to see me in wow, you know oh my gosh i can't even sounds delightful yes it'll be super romantic so anyway right <laughs> if we can get our um our companion to travel along with us we won't be stuck with just four suitcases right. full of belongings we can have just a little bit more by borrowing space exactly yeah. exactly yeah and you know you can bring more suitcases but it really does depend on how crowded your flight is on whether or not they'll let it onto that flight and it also comes with a fee so you're just you got to be pretty careful about that at least we do <laughs> some people have endless money but then maybe you would ship and we've considered shipping as well but I just I don't mm. feel like anything that we have is mm, valuable enough to ship um at that cost right. it's I don't like it. Yeah, maybe we'll talk about that more at some some point. But we've we've heard enough about it to to know that. Well, also we're kind of attracted to the idea of cutting loose all this stuff. Yes. And you know, you know, uh, just just cutting the cord, kind of. Yeah. Um, talk about it. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good to me. Just the necessities, you know, my my, my good pants and uh, yeah, my knickknacks, my tablet my phone right razor 
our day-to-day -day stuff we really want to be able to bring and then everything else we're hoping to find a home either in a nonprofit, sell it or have a family or friend that is interested in this stuff so yep. yeah we want to travel light we will yeah so mm -hmm. what do you think we're gonna do when we first get into ghana Gosh, I'm gonna throw all my stuff down and I'm gonna get something to eat. And if I'm not exhausted from the trip, I'm gonna try and get in that ocean. Ugh. I'm thinking. First things first, just jumping right into the ocean. I'm oh. with it. Come on, baby. We're making sure our place is walking distance from the beach. That was really important mm -hmm. to us. For the first year, we're planning to rent. And so, you know, maybe that's not where we'll be purchasing land, is that beachfront land. Right. But that first year is going to be, I mean, why not? If you can do it, let's do it. Because yeah. the rent is <laughs> such a nice price. <laughs> yeah, that area is very, very affordable. Um, yeah. What are we looking at? Are we look, looking Less than at? 200 US a month is what we're going to be paying for rent. And you do pay your rent um, up front all in a year. Sometimes you can find it for six months, but in Almina, it's usually about a year. Well, thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate you coming and spending time with us. Uh, letting us share our story with you. Yeah, thank you. And please um, stay tuned for more. We can't wait to keep sharing our journey from Portland to Elmina. Bye.